Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a time-lapse process of how I paint these ultrasound watercolors. I do these as commissions, and so I thought it might be fun for you to see the process that I go through in order to paint them. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the supplies I'll be using for painting. And um, the first thing I'm using is masking fluid. And then I also use this color shaper. It's a size two and I just picked it up from Blick Arts and it has a rubber tip. So it makes putting masking fluid on um, really easy and I don't have to worry about ruining any of my brushes. So you can see that I already sketched out really lightly the outline of the ultrasound that I'm referencing for this painting. And so I just use my color shaper and I apply masking fluid basically to the lightest parts of the image. So I'm looking at an image off screen that's up, pulled up on my computer um, so I can see where the lightest parts are of the ultrasound. And then, like I said, I'm just adding masking fluid and I've let it dry. And then once it's dry, I just go back and I paint these using Daniel Smith's Payne's Gray. And so I just start to do wet on wet work. And what's nice about having masking fluid is I don't have to worry about um, painting into the white parts because now they're protected since I've used masking fluid on them. And so all I'm doing is referencing the ultrasound and I'm looking at the dark parts versus the light parts. And I'm just adding the paint basically using wet on wet, like I said. And so the way that I kind of work um, through the ultrasound is from top to bottom. And um, you can see that I tend to do the parts that are around the baby first, and then um, I come back and I kind of fill in the inside. Um, when I kind of get to this bottom part, I'll wash the entire area with water so that I don't get any of those hard edges. Because um, if I were to just concentrate on a certain area and forget about it, then I'm gonna end up with a hard edge where it dries. And so I'm pretty careful about that because I want everything to kind of be smooth. And so here you can see I'm just kind of like darkening the areas that are darker. So just working through the painting. Um, I just wanted to mention that What's interesting is when I painted these, when I started painting these commissions, it wasn't because I had the idea to do them. I just actually painted my own because I wanted to share about my own birth announcement and I didn't want to post a picture of myself on Instagram. So I painted my own ultrasound and a lot of people um, actually asked and wanted one. And so um, that's where the idea of doing these custom commissions came up. And so... You know, I, I think it's really special to be able to paint these ultrasounds for other women. And it's so cute because I start to notice these little details as I'm painting that their babies have different profiles, they're in different positions. And it's really special, I think, to be able to work on something like this. And so obviously this is sped up, but um, it takes me about almost an hour probably from start to finish um, to paint one of these. I haven't really timed myself, but um, I'm kind of guessing. So here I am just kind of finishing it up and then obviously I let the paint dry and then I'm going back in and this is where I rub off all of the masking fluid. So I use a eraser and then also my finger just to kind of get the little parts and then you can see it just exposes the white parts of the paper that the masking fluid has protected at this point. And then my last step is really just going through and painting in some details. So some of these areas that I've left white, I don't want them to be pure white. And so I'm coming in and adding a layer of a light wash here. And then touching up any parts that I feel like need more contrast or I've missed making a little bit darker than they should be, for example. So. I really like these kind of little final touches. They're not, you know, huge, but they make a difference, I feel like, in the end. And so this is the final product. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And you can find links below to my Etsy shop if you want to 
buy one of these for yourself or order one for a friend, um, I would be so honored to be able to paint one of these for you. And I hope this helps if you're thinking about painting one for yourself. And I will see you guys next time.